this is Deanna from DC Fit, and this is a week one post-surgery update. As some of you may know, a week ago I had surgery on my root tear in my meniscus, uh, which I got by simply trying to catch up with the, my family in front of me, just kind of running along. I jumped, leaped off the sidewalk onto the road to kind of catch up with everybody and just landed wrong. I heard it. I felt it immediately. Uh, so an x-ray and MRI later revealed, in fact, I did have a meniscus tear. It was a root tear and was going to require surgery and rehab recovery. So that looks like four weeks of non-weight bearing activity, so crutches. And then after that four weeks, for the next four weeks, one week at a time, we add 25% of my, my body weight. So we'll add 25% of my body weight at week five, 50% at week six, and so on till I reach 100% body weight at hopefully around seven or eight weeks. So uh, fingers crossed and praying for that. So just kind of want to tell you a little bit about what this first week has looked like. Um, again, I went into surgery last Wednesday. I came out of that surgery with this knee brace, this lovely knee brace here. It's metal and has Velcro straps at the top. Um, this brace is something I wear 24 seven unless I'm icing my leg. So I sleep in it, um, I move around in it. So this is on all the time. Um, the one, the, the cool thing about this brace is it's got these, this little dial. It dials in your range of motion. So I'm locked in right now at 60 degrees, can't move my knee any more than 60 degrees. So this stops me from moving anymore. So I have two weeks here at 60 degrees, which I'm in the midst of right now. Um, at week three, I get to move it up to 90 degrees. So that happens next week. Um, so came home with this brace. Also came home with crutches which was new to me. I've never been on crutches before. And um, so that was just kind of a new experience, but I was immediately uh, shocked by what would seem obvious, but didn't, in that, hey, when you have crutches, you can't use your arms either. And so I had anticipated getting around and, oh, I'm not gonna be able to use my legs and it's gonna be hard to get around, but I hadn't thought of the fact that I wouldn't have the use of my arms anymore either. So as, as a big multitasker, that has been something I've really had to wrap my mind around is not having my arms. Um, I think, uh, I don't know, a day or two ago, I was trying to make an omelet and it took eight, six or seven, eight trips to the refrigerator to make an omelet because I'm getting over there with one crutch and going back. So crutches was a new thing to me and uh, still getting used to that and figuring out how to make the, the most of that. But came home with the brace, came home with the crutches. Um, those first two days, I had surgery Wednesday, first two days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, just all about rest, um, resting, icing, elevating, lots of swelling. Uh, of course, the pain was there. Nothing crazy bad, um, but lots of swelling and icing, and so just a lot of rest. I was able to get up. I mean, I did get up and crutch around on those days, but not for very long. So those first couple of days were like that. The third day after surgery would have been a Friday. I had my first physical therapy session. So went into physical therapy, wasn't feeling really great because of my pain medication, really making me sick. So eliminated that almost immediately. But, um, but physical therapy, that first physical therapy session was given four different exercises. And so I have been performing those four uh, physical therapy exercises this whole first week, all right? And those four exercises, I have a little video here, those four exercises look like this. So 
I would sit and perform those, um, those four exercises. Initially, I started doing those on that day three um, upstairs on my on the carpet on the rug in the living room and I would do those exercises and since I was seated I had dumbbells nearby and you know I would do some leg exercises and then I'd do some shoulder presses or some lateral raises and still kind of have my dumbbells nearby so that I could still work my upper body while I did these leg exercises and I also did anything I did with my right leg I also did with my left leg right so you kind of have that cross reference um, muscle line connection. So did both with right leg and left leg and still work my upper body while I did those exercises up there. I did that for a couple days and then started feeling well enough to come down to the basement which is where I make my videos and where I have clients and workout equipment. So would come down here then and do my workouts down here. So um, I recently did a shoulder workout and perform several shoulder exercises, also did some core exercises, but this little video you're about to see is what a, a workout looks like for me now at the end of week one post-surgery. Okay, so that uh, it's just an example of how things have progressed. Um, I'm able to, to get around down here in the basement with my crutches, and I just have to be careful how I stabilize. I've got to keep all my weight in this left leg. Again, not applying any weight or pressure to my right leg, uh, really being mindful of that 60 degree bend, so keeping my brace on the whole time I'm working out. Still working my left leg, as you can see, did some of those sit stands, um, do some leg raises. Again, all the rehab that I'm doing on my right leg, I also do on my left leg, um, but I did add some of those sit stands also to my left leg as well. Um, so that's what a typical workout looks like for me. I have split my upper body workouts this week one into three different upper body groups. I'm doing back and bys, chest and tries, and shoulders, so divide everything up that way. And I'm throwing in some type of abs too every time. Just lay down on the floor, do some, do some long leg lifts so I can keep that leg straight and different kind of ab exercises I can do. So trying to keep all things upper body going, even doing some cardio, as you saw in the video, I'm able to throw the ball. Um, I'm able to do the ropes. I can get the ropes over to my bench here on a chair and do some ropes. I can sit on my bench and, and do some boxing or even stand up and do some boxing. I started out sitting, but I can stand now and do it uh, for certain periods of time. But anyway, so just kind of trying to keep things moving differently, but, but still moving. Um, so, and again, keeping the brace on the whole time, being careful about that. Uh, always really nervous about falling and re-injuring my leg, so trying to be careful of, of just getting around and being aware of my surroundings. Still icing, lots of icing. I have a cryo cup, so I apply that and, and ice my leg quite a bit throughout the day. Um, sleeping is much better. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Sleep was pretty rough beginning, just because sleeping in a brace is really uncomfortable. And so, but that's gotten better as I've become more active and return to normal activities during the day. Um, trying to have a normal day uh, makes my nighttime a little bit normal where I can sleep longer before I wake up because of my leg and needing to reposition it or whatever. But so sleep pattern has also improved too. So really, really thankful for that. Um, I think that's really about it. I'm heading now into week two. Um, I have, uh, I just went to my second physical therapy session actually yesterday. 
So I have some new exercises that I'll be able to do this second week of recovery. As I enter week two of recovery, I have some additional exercises and uh, we'll share those again with you next time. But really wanna just take it a week at a time and be open and honest and very transparent about what this recovery looks like. Um, meniscus tears are pretty common. So I think it's important that something's out there that I can speak to mine and what it was like for me in a, in a realistic, uh, transparent fashion. So I hope this helps you. Um, it helps me to talk to you. Uh, just kind of let you know what's going on. But I appreciate your thoughts and prayers, guys. It's been great. Um, look forward to making more workout videos. They're going to be upper body and knee friendly for a while. But looking forward to getting back to my full body self. But going to take my time to get there because I want these knees for the long haul, right? So thanks again, guys. And uh, I will see you again next time for week two. All right?